come as a framework, as we know, is a lightweight framework, and it's you can cover the basics of Scrum within minutes, you know, possibly an hour at, at, at most. Uh, what the Scrum Master course then goes beyond the surface of it to say, you know, why, what's the purpose for these events? What is your role as a Scrum Master who's coaching the team and the organization? To, to really understand that and sort of also get over some teams just treat the Scrum Master as their PA, you know, oh, uh, put the, the meeting in the diary, make sure this person comes. Well, that's not the role of the Scrum Master. The role of the Scrum Master is make sure that the team understands what the events are, why they are there, who needs to go there, and then get themselves self-organized and, and get on with it. So Safe Scrum Master course also covers that. Plus, then what in a safe environment, you're working in teams of agile teams. So now you're kind of saying, okay, what are your responsibilities beyond the team level? And what are the things that you need to, to be aware of as teams of teams? How do you co coordinate and synchronize across a number of teams? How do we make sure that we got the transparency across the teams of teams? And also when we're working on solutions, impediments may come up, dependencies may be there. Of course, we want to eliminate these dependencies. Of course, we want one person to be able to do everything or a team to be able to do everything. That's the ideal state. Reality doesn't always bear, um, you know, align with that. So when we have those impediments and when we do have those dependencies, part of the Scrum Master role is to make sure that the, um, if you like, the scaled events are there and the coordination happens and is a two-way flow. And again, those events where you are in team of teams, it's not just a scrum master going there. You can take any team member who is actually best placed to sort of talk about what dependency or what impediment you have with uh, the counterpart in another team to make sure that we move forward uh, as smoothly as possible. And when there are things that, were, and again, we raise the flag and we provide that transparency to the stakeholders as soon as possible. We don't want to hide the fact that we're not moving forward. So that's the, the key difference, if you like, between the safe Scrum Master and the Scrum Master from the other um, sort of certifying bodies 